Super excited, super excited. But we're gonna get things started tonight for you guys with a uh, short form team. Yes. Yeah, um, we're gonna bring them to the stage. They are fresh from LA, uh, right off the red carpet. Please, please put your hands together for, I'm just Chad. Yes. Like Disney World or Wallace. Have you ever been on one of the rides? What? What? What was this? Have you ever been on one of the rides? Uh, uh, well, I, obviously I'm not dead, so yes. Uh, no, but I've heard the rumors. I'm just saying, like, like you know, like somewhere where you wouldn't expect to be injured. Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens. <laughs> Fair enough. Bush Gardens. Uh, great. So uh, this game is called Last Action Quip. And the way this works is basically our players are one at a time. are going to step forward and, as if they had just defeated uh, the villain in a movie. Uh, they're going to don their best, uh, you know, tough guy voice, so whatever that is in their mind. And they're going to deliver that kill quip. So, uh, you know, for example, if, if uh, you know, I just cut the bad guy in half with a sword, I might say something like, oh, so I just see you split. Uh, you know, so we're gonna do that, but it's the suggestion is Bush Gardens. <laughs> so imagine you've defeated the villain at Bush Gardens. Let's give it a round of applause, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> and you will be waiting in line forever. <laughs> <laughs> Consider yourself mowed. <laughs> Why don't you make like a whale and shamu? <laughs> Dragon fire! <laughs> I know in Italy, but I'm throwing you to Germany. <laughs> hey, yo, this fight was like a roller coaster that had its ups and downs. <laughs> They're not fighting real! <laughs> You weren't really a big bad wolf. <laughs> and this is your doll final countdown. <laughs> and now your grave is the only other reason people are gonna come to Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Great! <laughs> it's obvious we know what Bush Gardens is. Uh, so what's uh, let's kill the other opposite. What, what's a non-lethal object like a sponge or a stapler? A stapler. So let's say we defeated the villain with a stapler. Let's give us our last action clip. Give us a round of applause. Everybody. Yeah. You've been jammed. <laughs> Take note of it. <laughs> I guess that wasn't your stapler. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, um, they, they stole my stapler. <laughs> now I'm going to make you swing the line. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have a hard time keeping it together. <laughs> Oh, I got something stuck in my teeth. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you're going back to Office Max. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Let's move on to our next game. This next game uh, is uh, oh, foreign film dub. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so let's keep uh, Patrick and Avery up here on the stage, and Daisy and Steve over here. All right, you guys are about to see the titular scene from the most famous foreign movie of our time. Uh, 
um, which is going to be acted out by, in its original language, by Avery and Patrick here. But fortunately for us, we have Steve and Daisy to translate. So let me see, um, what is, uh, what, what kind of movie is this? What, any genre? Oh. What, what was that? Romance. Romance. It's a romance movie. And then, um, most importantly, what's the name of this movie? Killer. The day the earth cried. The day the earth cried. Ah, excellent, excellent. Well, all right, let's see it. The most famous scene from the day the earth cried. Oh, Jonathan. <laughs> Rampan, Samparan, Taran, Taran, Taran. Mary, I love you. Yeah, I'm so happy about Rampan, huh? Of course you do, but you only like me superficially. Paramam, Hasaran, 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I should have told you to ask me I bring you out here to my most peaceful place in nature, and all you can think about is my perfect butt. Parao! Rampa pa! La ba! La ba! La ba! La ba! La ba! La ba! La It's always the same song with you. You're not creative. I'm like crying over here, man. <laughs> Chances this year. 
I feel great about our chances this year. I don't know why you're so worried. We've trained for months. The Canadians are so fast, though. <laughs> but look at how aerodynamic our sled thing is. <laughs> it's like perfect and fast. Yeah, and you did it's that. So true. We don't even know what the fucking thing's called. <laughs> It is so aerodynamic, there's no way we can lose. Freeze! Great! Perfect. I think you set this up pretty good now. Let's change the genre. So what is a uh, type of film that you'd like to see this scene turn into? Noir. Film noir. Film noir. Uh, film noir. Let's get a round of go! This thing sucks. This is, this is the worst sled we've ever made. To myself, I was thinking, uh... <laughs> This bitch crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough night. Hi. I. I. I agree. <laughs> With everything you said, but I stand by the fact that we made this so aerodynamic, and we did. <laughs> Freak! It's great! Uh, it was obvious Dave was the only one who didn't know what film there was. Uh, so let's switch the genre. What's a new one? What will we be? Anything, anything. Sci fi. Are you sci fi? Conventional. Sci fi. That's going to be sci fi now. Sci fi, get around the ball. Yes! This thing had arms. Look at, look at the arms, it's growing as we're speaking here. Oh my gosh, it's a good thing we grabbed that alien DNA when they came down. <laughs> yeah, I think we jump in. All Give of us? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm in. Okay. Now, I'm in front. Okay. You've got to start up the, you gotta start up the juice. From the uh, place, oh, oh, the oh, oh, Something is grabbing me. I don't oh, know what it is. God. That's me. I'm sorry. Please, great, perfect. All right, now we're moving. Uh, what's, let's let's move. Let's go crazy. Let's let's. Uh, what's a, a sensory? Like maybe like a like 1800s. a. Well, eighteen hundreds. Eighteen hundreds. Eighteen. Did you say eighteen hundreds? Fifteen hundreds. Fifteen hundreds. I'm confident they know what the fifteen hundreds are. <laughs> So let's, let's go all the way back to the 1500s. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, well, I think we should have been thinking. <laughs> all right, I'll supply the brakes. Well, Skippy, I didn't think you had it in you, but you're going to be able to stop this thing as it's going down oh, the road. Right, 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 right. I'm back in it. Okay, all right. Here we go. You better watch it. That thing's illegal here this time. I'm oh, 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 man, get out! <laughs> great, it's great. Perfect. Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> let's go a different genre. Let's go to a... Uh, what's, a what's your what's an author that we can make him do now? Ray Bradbury. Uh, Don't listen to me. No. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Uh, what was our... What, what was that? Mark Twain. Mark Twain. I love it. Mark Twain. Mark Twain. American, American satirist. Mark Twain. Give it up. Well, here we go. Let's try this shit out. Grab your bean poles. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh. We're going to definitely win with this. Yeah. We're going to go right into that whale's mouth on our way down the blues. <laughs> I don't know much about our competition, but I think the engineering on this one is much better. Yeah. I hate waiting in school. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Watch out for them snakes coming out of the tree. Oh no. Oh, they, 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 they got evil spirits coming out of those trees. Bro, <laughs> those suck. <laughs> Freeze, great, all right. Uh, let's give them a TV show. What's your, what's your uh, favorite TV show? Friends. Friends, great. Now you're going to give you the scene in the style of Friends. Let's give it around. Let's go. Yeah. Rachel, listen. Yeah, 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 what, what? <laughs> I, I, I think we should take it to the next level and not just be bobsled okay. partners anymore. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. Let me see if the other guys okay. could agree. Yeah, what do you think, if we're like, you know? We're gonna, we're gonna be more than just, oh yeah, just but more than just, we're gonna be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? And then you won't be my friend. I just, yeah, I 
go get some coffee. Yeah, let's go to Central Park and just to have a coffee over it. Can well, we fit the couch the inside of this sled? <laughs> I don't need sure. to I think we can get this couch inside. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 I think they've done such a great job. And I'm so confident in what they can do here at the end. Let's do the final scene as a musical. Uh, what's your favorite Broadway musical? Cats. Cats, great. Let's finish it up in the style of Cats. Let's get around round of applause here. I, I think it's really something truly amazing. I, I feel like I've, I've tapped into a consciousness inside myself that might resonate with all of humankind. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Yes, yes. He makes friends with a monkey. <laughs> this is going to be better than top of the morning, Alfred. <laughs> oh, I can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, pancakes are almost done. It's, it's awfully cold in here. Do we have any more wood? Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Ellie. I think I need smaller pieces. I just keep putting these big chunks in. Oh, there any moment! I, I'm not used to having such big pieces of wood. Um, <laughs> as a boy, we used to have to steal wood. <laughs> We lived in the city, you see, and during the war, <laughs> there wasn't much wood in the trees anymore because of all <laughs> the Allied bombing in the Black Forest took pretty much every tree out, and so we had no wood to make fire. <laughs> but we made do. <laughs> we even burned Papa. <laughs> This news down in the market. What they is want it? books. They want books, 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 books. <laughs> they need stories. They've read everything. I have a manuscript right here. I've been working on it. It's it's something that resonates with the with with me, but I also think it will resonate with everyone. It's about a man who refers a monkey. Well, I never thought you boys would amount to anything. Just my <laughs> right. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Here, I never thought just tenants that lived in my basement, but then in the market today, the whole city of London was clamoring for books. They all wanted to read something new. Maybe you're onto something. You and your stupid brother. <laughs> Wait, which one of us are you talking to? Both of you. Oh, you're yes. both idiots. I know, Mr. Headmaster. <laughs> you know I let you stay in the school well after you graduated. We appreciate it. And being 30 and 35, <laughs> we should have no purpose at an elementary school, but you let us stay on. Because, because you saw something in us. Oscar-worthy moment. You saw a potential. You saw a dream. You saw a path to a brighter future. You saw maybe two boys that weren't the brightest. Maybe two boys that weren't the prettiest. Maybe two boys that got in a lot of trouble with a heroin smuggling ring in their early 20s. But you didn't care about any of that. You saw us as who we were. Men with no reason to be at an elementary school. <laughs> And I thank you for that. <laughs> I'll be honest with you boys, I was two days from kicking you out of this basement of this elementary school. I had about had it. I can't have two 30-something-year-old men while they're teaching children upstairs. We, we try to keep it not too smoky. We only burn a little bit of wood. You're doing fine, and now that there's books to clamor, I, I, I see how... Maybe it's time for you to move out of this basement, get real jobs, make money, and, and all I have to say is remember me when you get to the top, the top of the literary world. Ah, the literary world. Well, there was a time when I used to think that I was a wordsmith. I used to try to write, but all I could do was put down adjective after adjective after adjective. It never worked, it made no sense. He was a funny, 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 funny. <laughs> Period. That was what I wrote. That was my first book. I was a fool. I guess that's why I was so mean to you and I never gave you smaller pieces of wood. <laughs> I wanted you to struggle because I struggled so hard and now I have to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't give you, think I didn't give you smaller pieces of wood. <laughs> you made me and my brother who we are today. Men amongst boys. <laughs> <laughs> Men amongst boys. <laughs> We get so let's uh, let's think of the movie industry. Like what uh, what is a job in the movie industry that we can show you? The director. Let's give them the world's worst director. Let's give us a round of applause. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, roll camera. Cut. I mean action. Fuck. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Johnny Depp, we got some claymation. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much a movie, right? I'm Tim Burton. Yeah. <laughs> a script? We don't need that. <laughs> Too real. Too real. Wait, what? Um, stop. What are you saying? Stop. The stop. <laughs> I'm only going to use natural light and people who are <laughs> Fuck you. Um, okay, um, I'm not, you're, you're, you're not being, you're, you have to talk louder. 
try to act better, I just, I, I'm, just, can you, can you, I'm sorry, I'll, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> I don't know, just see what the producer wants. <laughs> yeah, I'm an actor, but basically makes me a director, right? <laughs> <laughs> My vision is for an upside down world, but the cameras, they will be right side up, so I will need you to stand on your head for entire performance. <laughs> well, let me get their shoes off. Let me get their shoes off, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're never gonna win an Oscar. <laughs> Comedy, documentary. Fan, documentary. I like, I like documentary. Let's get. We'll end with this. The world's worst documentary goes around watching. Here we go. Yeah. Line. <laughs> Line. <laughs> ah, we do have a script. Good. <laughs> In the beginning, they died. In the end, you die. <laughs> Tonight we bring you the story of wooden toy blocks. <laughs> it was here on this airway runway that planes would come into Epstein Island. <laughs> I'm only gonna use natural light and I'm only gonna get people who aren't actors. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Many people think of their hair as something that they shouldn't think about. Well, we dive deeper. What is hair? <laughs> this is a documentary about my bowel movement. <laughs> so it was January 14th. No, it was January 16th. It was January, it was January, it was in January. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> Kevin Spacey, the biographer. Yeah, let's do it. Yay! We love you so much! Now, give it up one more time for Stuart Ford! All right, feeling good, Sean? Feeling pretty good, you know? took classes with Daredevil Improv. That's right. So go to daredevilimprov.com to learn more about all your classes and sketch, improv, stand-up. We've got kid and adult classes. Very fun. And don't forget, you can get up on stage with us after the show. There's a sign-up sheet at the ticket booth. Totally free to get up here and play around with some of the improvisers you're seeing tonight and see if you can be funnier than us, and I bet you can. It's a great way to make friends. I've made friends that way. Yeah. You know, people don't generally like me, but these people have to like me because yeah. we're all on the same team. Yeah. So let me pass that on to you. Because in improv, you have to yes and and you have to be nice. We're friends, right? Yes and. Yeah, see? All right.